It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's weekly Torah lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parsha Shlach. The question of the week is, how can we overcome all our fears? So in this week's Torah portion, Parsha Shlach, we learn about the famous story of the 12 spies going to scout out the land, and when they came back, 10 out of the 12 had a negative report how we, there's no way we can conquer the land, besides two, Yehoshua and Kalev. So the question is, what is it with Yehoshua and Kalev that they had a polar opposite report that we could be successful and will succeed in overcoming the obstacles that the other 10 had real concrete concern about, they had real fears about? So if you give a look in the Torah, so when Yeshua and Kalev come back and they say that we can go ahead and be successful, so the Torah says something very interesting, and they use four words, and the words are, Im chafetz banu Hashem, if God will allow us, and God will want, then we'll be successful. So it knows even though there was obstacles, but Yeshua and Kalev, their key word, what they said differently than all the ten spies, that it's not about what we think will be successful or not, but the question is simple. If God wants, even if we have the hardest obstacles, they weren't naive, they weren't in denial, they knew there were obstacles, but they said if, if God wants, there's nothing to be afraid about. Unfortunately, if God doesn't want, then nothing's going to happen. So the answer to the question, how can we overcome all our fears? To, re to connect to God and know that God is there for us in everything that we do. And if God wants us to be successful, there's nothing that will get in the way and there's nothing to be afraid of. This week's Torah lesson is in memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated for the Torah that we're studying in their memory. I'd like to dedicate and wish a special Mazel Tov to my daughter Hannah on her marriage to Mendy Dunin. Mazel Tov. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For more information on Chabad, please see our website.